What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Car Talk, presented by Gates Automotive. On today's episode, we're going to talk about GM's robo-taxis that are in San Francisco and looking to expand outside of that, as well as Volkswagen's EV production and their schedule for that, as well as their promises for next year and the following years. But first, we got Joe Johnson today over here at our Elkhart store. And Joe was our salesperson of the month in November, and we're just going to kind of kick this off and kind of learn a little bit more about Joe. So, Joe... Congratulations, first off. Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. It. And one thing we want to ask that's the most important question today, are you using PEDs, performance-enhancing drugs, to be number one? Can't say. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yeah. But in all Can't seriousness, congr- congratulations Thank on you. that. Appreciate uh, it. So appreciate last it. month you helped, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you helped over 17 families last month. Uh, 16. So, oh, okay. 16. 16, yep, 16 families last month, yeah. You can say 17. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to hurt we, my family. We can take the number up, right? Exactly. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So what do you attribute your success to? Uh, you know, I, I, I like helping. I, I'm born and raised here in Elkhart, Indiana. This is, this is my home. Um, you know, following up is my, my probably one of my biggest things is, uh, you know, keeping in contact with even people that I haven't sold. Uh, referrals is a big thing, too. Uh, I like having customers that trust me to and be able to tell their friends about me and have them trust me as well. So uh, it plays a big part in how many cars I sell. I mean, it, it's not me that's doing it. It's my customers, really. Uh, that's really all it is. How cool. Well, that's a good way to look at it. It's not you. It's about you helping people. Exactly. And it's your customers that need something, and you're able to provide that to them. Even if it's not sales, even if it's service work or keys being made, whatever it may be. You know, I I like to be my my customer's first source of contact, anything car-related. I like to have them call me instead of the store. Yeah. So that's kind of how I look at it. Yeah. Well, I definitely think you're a value-added service to those people when you take care of that. Exactly. Uh, Exactly. Obviously, we're a huge asset for that, but also you kind of going out of your way to make that happen. That's cool. Right. Exactly. Thank (laughs) you. That's awesome. So I know you've been in a few other automotive dealerships and retailers. So tell me, you might have a good answer to this. I think you will. Okay. Why is Gates different? What, in your perspective, it makes Gates different than that other is, retailers out there? That's the easiest question I probably <laughs> will hear today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, the best way to put it, man, is the the family attitude, not necessarily just at this store, but everywhere. I mean, every manager you meet is just like family. It's not like they're, they're your manager. They're not micromanaging you. They're helping you. They're here to help you succeed and move up to that next level in the sales uh, whether it be sales, management, whatever it may be. but That's cool. That's probably the biggest thing is just that family family attitude. That's, yeah, that's great. Yeah. I think that too because you walk around and uh, go from store to store. Right. For example, if exactly. like the owners, you'll see them there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. for example, here at yeah. our Elkhart store, we've got Jeff Gates. Jeff Gates yeah. And for yeah. some reason, he's got the same last name as the store. Know, Isn't that right? kind of weird? That's crazy. <laughs> They planted it. I know, yeah. It's not supposed to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest coincidence ever, right? Exactly. Yep, exactly. <laughs> but I yeah. think that that's cool. And yeah. even kind of going to the end of this year, so right now we're in the middle of December. Right. We're going to p- kind of put a bow on this year. Yeah. What's Wrapping next year look for look, look like for you? Oh, I want to sell as many cars and help as many people out as possible. That's, that's great. That's my biggest thing. That's my biggest thing. How are you going to do it? Following up. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'd stay busy on the lot help out as many people as possible yeah that's that's the plan that's, that's awesome the plan. just kind of wing it and it just works out sometimes you know that's i mean that's the easiest way to put it <laughs> that's great well let's get into the fun stuff now awesome so what's your favorite vehicle whether it's a vehicle to drive vehicle to sell something that you like putting your family in so what's my your my personal favorite vehicle would probably have to be like a I mean, Chrysler 300. Chrysler that, 300. That was my favorite car. That's what I had oh, for about two years. Oh, you had a white years. one, yeah. didn't you? Yep, I sold yeah. that back over to Gates uh, about a year ago, actually. And yeah. I miss it every single day. <laughs> every single day. <laughs> but uh, but my favorite car to sell by far is the uh, the new 2021 Versus. They're yeah. they're totally redesigned inside and out. They come, they come standard with some great features, great safety features. Um, I mean, you can't really beat them in the look of them. I mean, they look like an Altima now. They're yeah. not so boring that what they used to look like. So probably the Versa would probably be my favorite thing to sell because it's, I mean, you look at it and anybody, first-time buyers, anybody looking for, you know, a lower payment, that's that's a perfect car for them. For sure, because they are a more affordable vehicle. 100%. It's nicer that they've got that extra style now. They exactly. kind of go along with the Altima. Now, exactly. the Altima, they got redesigned, I oh, think, yeah. four or five years ago. Yep. But, yep. man, those are sharp. They're very sharp. They, they yes. still are. They're Same thing with the Maxima. Yes. We have a couple of them on a the lot. I haven't seen yeah. the Maximas yet, but I, I, know from past, yeah. I know from past experiences when we had them on the lot before, they were... 
They were nice cars. Yeah. Very nice cars. So, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully we get one on the lot soon so I can take a look at it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. And that's something that we do really good at is trying to find something that people – like right. is affordable yep. something they can finance easily if yep. it's within their budget right. what kind of advice would you give to someone who's looking to purchase a car right now in this type of market so you know the market is the market's where it's at everybody knows you know it's kind of it's tough right now uh it just kind of depends on the situation i work with a lot of you know lower credit or first-time buyers uh so the, really the best thing i mean purses are great yeah um, you know uh, there's a lot of great first-time buyer programs that we use here for first-time buyers or lower credit that can that can fit in that criteria as well. Um, but really, the biggest thing is is put trust in a salesman. Let them do their work. Let them do their job because we're like definitely at this store. We're probably the best store out here right now that works with those lower credit first-time buyer programs because that's really all we have around here. Put so, Joe to work, right? Yeah, I love it. I love it. It keeps me busy. It makes the day go by fast. I don't have to think too much. I just do what I do best, and that's that's what I do. So yeah. I love I love it. I love it. How cool. Let's talk about your family real fast. Okay. So tell us, how many kids you got? I got two sons. Yeah. Two sons. One, uh, Legend, Legend Johnson, he is uh, five. He's actually going to turn five this week. Cool. Uh, and then Jackson, he's about, he's almost two years old. Uh, he's born in June. So, you know, getting crazy getting old and crazy so. <laughs> you had a seven month old how crazy yeah actually no six month right yep yeah yeah how crazy it's insane <laughs> wait it's crazy yeah boys are insane but yeah, i, I wouldn't sure. change it for the world though <laughs> yeah and legend how cool of a name oh uh, legend <laughs> Yeah, but he gets compliments everywhere. Legend's gonna be—he's gonna be in this chair one day in the next, <laughs> in the future. I promise. Yes. I so, promise. So you posted this picture on Facebook. It was, I think it was a new profile photo mm-hmm. of you and, and Legend. Legend. Yep. Yeah. So yep. you guys—you're like two peas in a oh, pod. It's nuts. Yeah, that's that's my guy. Yeah, that's my guy. He when I uh, I'll be here. I'm as soon as I move up to that sales manager status, he'll be one of my <laughs> salesmen for sure. You're gonna he'll bring him there. along. Oh, 100. Teaching the ropes. He won't. He there's no question. He won't let me not bring him along. So yeah. He's ready to sell right now. How Put cool. him in here and sell a car right now. <laughs> what are some so. things you like doing with your boys and with Elise? Man, truthfully, my, my oldest is really big into, like, boxing. No Legend kidding. is really big into boxing and wrestling and stuff like that. So every time, as soon as I step in the door, that's the first thing we do. He starts punching on me, and I got to get him back. <laughs> yeah. It just starts, goes from there. <laughs> uh, Jackson is still a little bit young, but he's, he likes to play with a couple toys. Uh, he likes cars a lot. He, plays with cars or he'll just pick something up off the ground something random start playing with it so uh but yeah they're both crazy i like chasing them around yeah just, <laughs> just messing with them yeah, just messing with them how funny it's like a hazing stage or something. true right yeah. they're gonna razzle you and you're gonna razzle them back oh yeah 100%. as, soon, as soon as you walk in the door as so, i'm not <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you as soon as i walk in the door i get punched in the stomach and it's over with <laughs> yeah yeah over with so yeah <laughs> well as fun. we kind of put a bow on this year for 2022 going into 2023 um are there a couple people you want to shout out that have kind of helped you get to where you're at to it oh, today yeah, yeah. Go, i, I want to shout out every single sales manager at gates of el car but most importantly yeah. uh joe shout out to every sales manager yeah joe rodriguez shout out to jay rod shout out to steve andy ratford and shout jeff howell for getting shout those jeff. getting those uh deals approved and getting yeah. them done i definitely appreciate it <laughs> there there's been some rough ones but we got them done that's that's all that matters That's great. Huge thanks to Joe for coming on today. We're going to take a short break so you can hear from our sponsor, but stay tuned as you hear about some more automotive news in the industry. Car Talk is presented by Gates Automotive, Northern Indiana's premier local-owned auto dealer, specializing in Toyota, Chevy, and pre-owned vehicle sales and service. Gates Automotive has locations in South Bend, Mishawaka, Granger, and Elkhart. For more information, visit GatesAutomotive.com. Huge thanks to Gates Automotive for sponsoring Car Talk. Now we're going to get into the news segment of the episode. One of the big things that GM is working through right now is they have a robo-taxi service called Cruise. And this is where they retrofitted some Bolt EVs in San Francisco to be a robo-taxi. And one of the things they're working through right now is the EVs are actually braking too hard and accelerating too quickly around traffic around them, also blocking some traffic and potentially causing some collisions. This is because the NHTSA has received complaints from consumers. A spokesman for Cruz, Drew Pusateri, did say that they will cooperate with NHTSA and authorities that they work through this together. And he also noted that they have driven over 700,000 
fully autonomous miles with zero incidences or life-threatening injuries. At this time, Cruz does believe that the actions that are potentially causing issues were because of other drivers around them where the Cruz Bolt EV was responding to them. And coincidentally, Cruz is trying to expand larger than just San Francisco. Uh, well, really, they're only in about 30% of San Francisco. They want to grow to the entire municipality and beyond. They're waiting on federal regulations for that approval. Also, in other news, Volkswagen did state publicly with their financial chief that they're going to continue to focus on the ICE combustible engines while maintaining the EV numbers they've done so far in 2022. They believe that it's going to take two to three years for the raw materials to stabilize until they're able to focus on the growth of EVs both in Europe and in the United States. That's it for today's episode. Thanks so much for tuning in to Car Talk presented by Gates Automotive and tune in to our next episode. Thanks, guys. We will see you around.